random reviews here and I have a book haul yesterday I went to my local bookstore I was at my mall I was doing Christmas shopping and I wasn't planning on getting anything for myself but I ended up getting two books so I hope you guys like them the first one I picked up it says I am neurotic and so are you it's by Liana Kong I believe is how you pronounce it so the author is actually, um, she has neuroses, and basically she created a website, www.iamneurotic.com, where people who have neuroses can basically write them down on paper, and basically others that have neuroses can basically, uh, they can kind of just have fun with each other. So, some of them include, um, here's one. Before I go to sleep at night, I must make sure that the sheets are tucked in just right. The bedspread can't be wrinkled, and it must all be perfectly even before I get into bed. I even wait until my girlfriend's asleep and then fix the sheets with her in the bed. I know when I wake up, the sheets will be strewn about, but at least I can go to sleep knowing that the blankets are nicely tucked. And they've got a picture that goes with each page of uh, somebody's neurosy. Um, I basically just kind of picked this book up. It was in the humor section. And I'm like, do you know what? This sounds really funny. Um, she says here that everybody will find out that they actually... Um, that they actually do have a bit of neuros neurotic um, tendencies. I don't think so, but you never know. The back of it says, better yet, do you, uh, do you wash your hands, set the alarm clock, lock the front door? Better yet, do you like even numbers? Do you fold all of your trash neatly into squares? Do you count steps? Do you carry a bottle of hand sanitizer with you all at all times? Everyone has his or her own neuroses. On a routine trip to the office bathroom, Leanna Kong discovered one of hers. How could I possibly pee with my coworker sitting right next to me doing her business? And in that quiet moment of panic, IamNeurotic.com was born. I'm Neurotic and So Are You is a smog smorgasbord of anonymous confessions that reveal people's deepest, strangest, and funniest compulsions quirks that are triggered in the bedroom, the boardroom, and everywhere in between. So that looks, that looks like it'll be an interesting read. A short read too because there's only like, like sometimes there's just something written on the one page and then there's the picture on the next page. And the other book I got is called The Marriage Bargain by Jennifer Probst. It says, a marriage in name only. To save her family home, impulsive bookstore owner, owner Alexa Maria McKenzie cast a love spell, but she never planned on conjuring up her boy best friend's older brother, the powerful man who once shattered her heart. Billionaire Nicholas Ryan doesn't believe in marriage, but in order to inherit his father's corporation, he needs a wife and needs one fast. When he discovers his sister's childhood friend is in dire financial straits, he offers Alexa a bold proposition, a marriage in name only with certain rules. Avoid entanglement, keep things all business, do not fall in love. The arrangement is only for a year, so the rules shouldn't be that hard to follow, right? Except fate has a way of upsetting the best laid plans. So, I don't know. The title just kind of caught my attention, so we'll see how... We'll see how that goes. So that is my book haul. Um, hope you guys liked it. I know it's not as huge as my last haul. But I'm hopeful never, ever, ever to have a book haul that big again. So go and pick up a random book and read. Bye, guys.